Hey yo, what up? It's Don. Samuel here. The Soul Brothers. Of course, we are back up in it. Um, back with a does it still basketball? This is a retro. Uh, kind of a newer retro. Not crazy new, but it's still a retro. This is the Air Jordan 23 in this nice red. What is this city? Chicago. 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 Shy Chi City colorway. Yeah, Shy City. All right. Um, Sammy cop these. He's on a tear doing old school Jordans, and we'll see how this one. Uh, how see how this one fares. I mean, this is a this is a uh, not a performance review. It's first impressions. It's stiff. I mean, like try try bending it. Can you bend it? Just in a very very toe. I mean, that's come on, crazy. Guys. All right, so um, let's just go over the tech. Um, and yeah, this is my first impression. So. Uh, the traction pattern is a multi-directional. It almost looks like a rose or something. Fingerprint. Fingerprint, huh? Or or footprint. Footprint. Or whatever. And um, it's a very hard rubber, so outdoor you should be okay. But I already played in played in these like uh, two times, I think, two or three times, and traction was, mm. especially because it's so stiff, you know, and then nothing comes up here. Yeah. Like so, it's basically just plastic. So whenever I'm doing crosses, and then you know how like you do a cross, and then you um, kind of like lift your foot a little bit like this. Yeah. It doesn't catch, and then I slide like this a few times. Right. So um, I don't know. Maybe it'll break in. I don't think so. But that was one problem. Uh, so traction seems to be mediocre, not very good. But yeah. underneath that, uh, there is a full carbon fiber midfoot shank to make it stiffer. Yeah. Even though um, there is a hard ass plastic right under that. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah, hard ass plastic right under that. And then that all wraps into this TPU chassis, yes. which is super hard and stiff. Just caging the hell out of the cushion. It says, what cushion yeah, there is. It's, it, it says it's full length fine line. Mm -hmm. And then I'm assuming full length zoom air because it just says full length fine line and zoom air cushioning. So I'm not mm -hmm. sure what it is. Uh, with the, the zoom, but I'm assuming that it's full length zoom because I can definitely feel uh, the zoom right underneath my foot. And I tried to find the dismantling of the 23, but I couldn't find it. So, um, and it doesn't say on the uh, full locker or East Bay or anything. So, yeah, uh, that's what I'm assuming. And it feels really, really similar or exactly the same as the Jordan 12. Um, you know, like it's super stiff here. I mean, there's absolutely clunky, it feels like a boot. Like, yeah. that shit's hard. But, um, your foot goes into the zoom unit and it feels nice, but then it's like super clunky. So I, I don't know, man. Um, I, I really don't understand this, man. I don't understand. Well, we, maybe it's going gonna, gonna to break in. It's going to be the best This plastic is going to break in. Yes. yes the plastic's going to break in. The carbon fiber is going to break in. Yes. Uh, and then let's talk about this upper. This is a nice supple material. Yes. Right? That's the word Nike used on their website. Supple. Uh, supple, synthetic, and leather. And this is like a tumbled leather. It's red. Very nice. Very red. Leather. Yeah, it's, very I mean, nice it's leather. it's very stiff, but it's like thick and uh, feels like real leather. Yeah. And then here you have um, just some uh, what, what is this like neoprene, po neoprene or... polyester materials. Yeah. yeah, you know, it's just fucking it's leather, dude. Yeah. You know. And then you have the plastic that comes all the way the fuck up here, mm -hmm. which is it's it's too much, man. Uh, there's some pretty aggressive Achilles pillows. Those are nice though. Yeah. Those are nice and uh, it feels like it's keeping me locked down like crazy. So right. those are nice. Thank you f uh, to Jordan for that. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. And then fit go true to size. Um, the tongue is also all leather. Um, yeah, and fit seem to be pretty good. So um, I feel like this is going to play really, really similarly to the Jordan 12. You know, the traction is going to be okay. Mm -hmm. The cushion is falling like zoom. But then it's gonna be super clunky, and then the materials materials are just, you know, just leather. You know, they're they're okay. You know. Yeah. So um, yeah, that's the Jordan Twenty Three, and on my quest to do all of the Jordans, um, I found these at the outlets, um, for not even still not not even that cheap. Yeah. Like, they were still pretty fucking what expensive. Were they? I don't remember like 160. Right. Yeah. But these are like probably when they dropped, they're probably like 225. 220, 225. Just crazy. But um, well, what do you think about this shoe? Yeah, aesthetically, 
Just, well, it just it just feels literally like a work boot. <laughs> feels like a Timberland if Timberland tried to make a basketball shoe. You know. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I can't make that sound. I mean, it's like. Yeah. You know, and I played in it, and it's super loud, like clunk, clunk, clunk. Yep. It's it's crazy. I hate that. Feels like you're playing in cowboy boots. You know, yeah. who's the new sheriff in town? Right. I, I don't know who what the designer was thinking when he was designing this. Like, why do you need this? plastic fucking yeah. thing around the whole cushion to make it out way know, too out much they, they, this is one of the this is one of the air jordans they just overdid you know they tried to innovate which is cool but then they just kind of missed on this one i think aesthetically also i don't really love it i mean i like the shape of the shoe it's okay it's a cool shape but then when you start looking at all the detail it's just a little bit much in my opinion especially this little fin back here i have a signature like a on my shoe fin. <laughs> the shark thing right here. You know. Oh, you got. Yeah, you, these are signed actually. Yeah. I think I he signed every single one of them. Exactly. So, uh, he must have signed. You know, maybe 10, 20,000 pairs. Yes. Probably way more than that actually. Anyways, uh, that's our first impressions. We'll be back with a performance review. Soul Brothers, catch you in the next one later. Peace.